Hey what's up guys welcome back to another tutorial today we're going to be looking at a very compact and simple bubble column that allows you to go up all the way to 144 blocks. Now this is very customizable I do know this works with Java edition and it also works with Bedrock edition so if you're playing those two versions of the game this will definitely work. So let's go ahead and look at the items that we're going to be utilizing today. So before I show you guys the secrets of this water elevator I want you guys to do me a favor and hit that like button down below and if you want to subscribe I come out with these tutorials from time to time and I also have a let's play series so go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button for me so these are all the items that we're going to be using in this build now they're up on the screen go ahead and pause the video if you want to take make sure you get all of these but it's pretty simple it's not too resource heavy the only thing that's kind of heavy is the actual slime because you're going to need 17 slime balls to do this now let's go ahead and take all this out. My wood and my iron blocks are just building materials. I, and then you'll also need glass, which I don't have in there, but you can use whatever material you want. If you wanna have a see-through column, use glass. If you're just building it underground and you don't really care what it looks like, just leave it as normal. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So the way this works is you step on the pressure plate and the block is immediately switched to soul sand. You go shooting up as far as you want, and this is going to take us up to, I believe, Y160 um, on my world, and you'll come out to the top, and right at the top, it'll pop you out, and it'll work. Now, let's say you want to go back down. The block is already switched down the bottom, and we can hop in, holding shift, we'll go down. Yes, it is not the fastest. You could put a little drop column next to you, but this is a pretty efficient way, and you also will not drown in here because of the bubbles. So this will take you all the way back down. I use this heavily in my single player world for getting down from my lighthouse to my mob farm. It's pretty effective and pretty efficient and it's really compact and you can squeeze this into a pretty small area. So let's go ahead and show you guys how this is actually going to be built. So our first step is to find our center and put two temporary blocks and then another block. And the reason why I'm using iron is because we're going to signify it's going to be carrying a redstone pulse. You can use whatever block you want. That is just my preference to use an iron block. From here we're going to come out three blocks from the center so right here we're going to place a temporary block and we're going to put a sticky piston facing us from there we're going to take our slime blocks and place them there we're going to place our soul sand and our magma block on top so we're at the front side now with the part with the pressure plate on the iron block we're going to place another redstone conducting block down with redstone there and then a redstone torch with the redstone dust going into a block with a piece of redstone on top. From there, we are going to take a block, a temporary block, and place it there with our hopper going into it. We're gonna swing around and place another hopper going back into that one. This is what is gonna time our whole entire mechanism. And we're eventually gonna put some items into there. From here, we're gonna take come one block out, skip, and put a piece of redstone there. We're gonna take our redstone comparator with it going into the hopper. From there, we're going to place a redstone dust with a repeater coming out of it. We're going to take redstone here and come up onto a block like so. And to block this redstone from coming in, we need to place a block on top. Now we are just about done with this circuit. It's pretty easy, pretty compact. What we need to do now is place a comparator going into this hopper and then a repeater going into this hopper as well with a redstone going like that with a redstone dust going into the repeater. So our next step is to put blocks into these hoppers. We're gonna go ahead and put 16 in. That gives me roughly about 12 seconds to get wherever I want. That also means I can travel up to 144 blocks. You can take some of these blocks out. It will just shorten your time. You can also add blocks in and to extend the time. So we are now going to test this mechanism before we get any further. We're gonna come here and we're gonna see and if it switches and then it will switch back in about probably about five seconds now and just like that it's switched back so we know that this circuit is now working now comes the fun part of working with water now i highly recommend if you're not in an open world like this cover up your mechanics down below the last thing you want to happen is have water spill out and ruin all your redstone so now on either side, on one on top of the soul sand, leaving a blank, which we're not going to, but just leaving a blank like that, that is the start of your build. We're also going to come onto this side and place one in the back. 
So at this point, all you need to do is come up by one above that and then come up one more. That way you can walk underneath. You will take your fence gate out and you can use whatever kind of fence gate you want. And that way, when you step on this, it will open up. And then from here, you're going to be able to place your water on. So what I recommend doing is go ahead and tower these up, which I'm going to do real quick for you guys. So now that we've got our glass going up, you can do one of two things to fill this up. You can take a single bucket of water or multiple buckets of water and fill it up, or you can use the method of using kelp. So if we're going to use the kelp method, what I would recommend doing is putting a piece of sand right there, coming up to the top here, letting your water flow down just like you normally would, come into it, and start building your kelp up. And this just makes solid water blocks for you to not have to worry about. From there, you will knock your, your sand out, place a block of water there, and as you see, all your items should be coming to the bottom. Now you have a working water elevator that switches. So you come on here, and it will shoot you up to the top, and you'll be up to the top, and in just a second, we can ride it back down once it switches back over to the magma cube. So it is now switched over, so we can hop down holding shift, and we can walk out, and I'll switch back and we could go back up. But that is how you guys build a simple water elevator that switches between going up and going down. I hope you guys liked today's video. And if you guys really liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button down below and support me. I would really appreciate it. We're almost to 60 subscribers. So that would be awesome if we can reach there with this video. But until next time, guys, until the next tutorial video, you guys have a good one. You guys stay safe out there.